Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And speaking of Patreons, thanks so much for the Patreons that I do have that help support this channel. Much appreciated. And a special shout out to a new Patreon um, who just came on board. Um, Ravi, and I'm going to try to pronounce his last name. So Ravi, you know, uh, be patient with me here. Um, Mahan Kali. Ravi Mahan Kali. Um, so he's the uh, newest patron, and uh, thank you so much for your generous support. Much appreciated. And remember, folks, it's just whiskey. Today we are going to be talking about and reviewing a Balmore, an older release, um, came out in 2016, so I'm a little bit late to the party. Um, this is their Vault Edition first release, so Vault Edition number one, um, non-age dated, came out in, tw in 2016. It's 51.5% ABV, um, ex-bourbon, and it's a series of four uh, releases. Um, Roy from Aquaviti uh, has, has been gushing and raving about this particular bottle for a long time. And I was sitting on the fence for it, but, but I actually forgot that I even had opened this. And I'm like, wow, I got to catch up on some of the, re the reviews. Um, so this has been open for several months. And I've been, you know, just sampling it slowly letting it oxidize and um but the cut to the chase i'm not enjoying it as much as roy has um and i even have a, a backup bottle of this and it wasn't cheap either that's why it was really hesitant to, to buy it um in the united states there was two bottles left and i believe it was around 140 dollars okay um but I really wanted to try it on Roy's recommendation. And and also, too, um, I previously reviewed another Balmore. It was a Balmore, Balmore, 10-year-old. Their uh, Doris Moore um, from First Fill Bourbon um, as well. And I reviewed that. So check, check that out. That was quite a while ago. And this is a 55.1%. So I'm not really going to, I'm not going to review the 10 year old, um, cause I, I've already done that, but I will reference it at some point in this, this review. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. On the nose. Black tea. Vegetal peat, little medicinal, vanilla, spearmint, a little smokiness, <coughs> on the palate. It's sweet, not overly sweet. Sweet transition tr transitions into a bit of that almost almost sour astringency. Um, it's got a fruity element to it. It's got some melon. The light peat is integrated pretty well in there. Um, spearmint, cigar, leather, and a little bit of cocoa. And I would say the finish is um, herbaceous, oak spice, sweetness, with a with a strong medium finish. But it's also has this kind of for me. Uh, I don't want to say off putting, but not inviting in a way is. And I don't want to be too dramatic when I say this, but it's it's on the finish. There's a subtle, like pine saw 
cleaning fluid agent to this, um, which I picked up a little bit of that on, on this, but I'm reading the, the tasting notes on this and the, you know, they, they describe it as menthol, but, but on this 10 year old menthol, smoothie, you can tell that they're, they're in the same ballpark, but this 10 year old is really heavy on the, the black licorice, the anise, um, menthol, but it's also has that, that hint of some kind of maybe cleaning fluid as well, you know. I've never really had any Balmors. I've avoided them because their core release are all 40% heavily chill filtered, heavily colored. But these are um, more integrity presentations. Um, I, I believe they're both non-chill filtered. And as far as color, I'm not so sure on that. Um, Mm, yeah, I'm not sure even about the non-chill filter, but um, let me see. This, I don't think it says it on the, uh, the vault edition number one. Yeah, I don't think it even says it there. Um, but on the 10-year-old, yeah, it does say um, non-chill filtered. So I would assume that the vault edition is probably non-chill filtered. Uh, no mention of color, so maybe there is a little bit of color added. Um, I've really tried to see what Roy saw in this and, and I'm not throwing Roy under the bus by any means just an example like Ro uh, Ralphie gives high praise to the, the Bal Blair 10 year old and Roy has um, you know said that he doesn't really get on, get on with it as well as you know Ralphie does so it's kind of the situation here but for the price I am underwhelmed and disappointed and I have poured a couple uh, samples for this for other people and they really weren't um, you know um, blown away by it or um, asking for seconds <laughs> um, all right yeah so it, it's it does have a lot going on I think if someone's a, a Balmore Bowmore fan um, I, I think they they might like like these, but I'm I've I've been trying really hard um, to wrap my head around it. But for my enjoyment level, um, I, I'm gonna give it like a 82 to an 83, somewhere in that range. It's not something that I find myself going to, but I I go to it out of curiosity, hoping that it's gonna you know improve with the oxidation and it and it has. But still, it's just, um, I don't think it's, it's, Bowmores are really in my wheelhouse from what limited experience I've had with them. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon like Ravi just did. Uh, Ravi, Ravi, I mean. Um, so, um, yeah, hats off to you all, and take care, folks.